Welcome to our online Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today we celebrate the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's reading, we hear Jesus tell us about God's love and God's care for us, how God never stops loving and forgiving us. Let's think about this and what it means for our lives as we listen to the readings for today. To begin our time together, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving and forgiving God, sometimes we forget you, and sometimes we get lost. We do things that we know are wrong, and yet you never stop loving us. And so we thank you for never giving up on us, for always loving us, and always being ready to welcome us when we return to you. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. He has given me the strength for my work because he knew that he could trust me. I used to say terrible and insulting things about him, and I was cruel. But he had mercy on me because I didn't know what I was doing, and I had not yet put my faith in him. Christ Jesus our Lord was very kind to me. He has greatly blessed my life with faith and love, just like his own. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and I was the worst sinner of all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told the people this story. Once a man had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Give me my share of the property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up everything he owned and left for a foreign country, where he wasted all his money in wild living. He had spent everything when a bad famine spread through the whole land. Soon he had nothing to eat. He went to work for a man in that country, and the man sent him out to take care of his pigs. He would have been glad to eat what the pigs were eating, but no one gave him a thing. Finally, he came to his senses and said, My father's workers have plenty to eat, and here I am starving to death. I will leave and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. 
treat me like one of your workers. The younger son got up and started back to his father. But when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt sorry for him. He ran to his son and hugged and kissed him. The son said, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. But his father said to the servants, Hurry and bring the best clothes and put them on him. Give him a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Get the best calf and prepare it so we can eat and celebrate. This son of mine was dead, but has now come back to life. He was lost and has been found. And they began to celebrate. The older son had been out in the field, but when he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants over and asked, What's going on here? The servant answered, Your brother has come home safe and sound, and your father ordered us to kill the best calf. The older brother got so mad that he would not even go into the house. His father came out and begged him to go in, but he said to his father, For years I have worked for you like a slave and have always obeyed you, but you have never given me a little goat so that I could give a dinner for my friends. This other son of yours wasted your money on bad women, and now that he has come home, you order the best calf to be killed for a feast. His father replied, My son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we should be glad and celebrate. Your brother was dead, but he is now alive. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, we hear the story about a father's forgiveness. Do you remember what happened? Remember, there was the son who wasted the money his father gave him, spending it on things he didn't need. Recognizing that he had done wrong, the son returned to his father and admitted his fault, what he had done wrong. How did the father react when he saw his son coming home? The father wasn't angry, but was happy to see his son. He even threw his son a party, celebrating his return. What do you think this story shows us about God's love? If we are like the son who returned home, and God is like the father celebrating his son's return. It means that we should be loving, kind, and forgiving towards others. It's always good to see a long lost friend return home, and we can always do our best to make sure everyone feels welcome, accepted, and safe. In the coming week, what are ways that you can bring God's love, mercy, and care to others? In trust and in confidence, we join together in offering our prayers to our Father in heaven. For Pope Francis, bishops, and all priests, that they may be holy and effective in their mission to draw all people to Christ, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For parents of children who have left the practice of their faith, that they will not be discouraged, but continue to pray for their return. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, that the Lord may keep all under the shelter of his care. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we need your mercy. As you answer our prayers, fill us with the joy that comes from hope and grant us your salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching this online Children's Liturgy of the Word. We look forward to celebrating the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time next weekend. To end our time together, we pray. Lord, we pray for all of those who feel lost and for all of those who have been led astray. May they come to know your longing for their return, and on returning to you, may they find in you mercy, love, compassion, and forgiveness. Help us, too, to share your love and compassion. May we always be ready to welcome others, to forgive one another, 
and to join in celebration when the lost are found. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.